In this video, you will learn how to choose a hiking map. The card allows you to be independent and make informed choices while hiking. It also means that you do not have to depend on electronic devices, which are extremely practical, but which can also leave you destitute when they stop working. When choosing your hiking map, it is important to take two things into consideration. Make sure you choose a topographical map which is as accurate as possible. First, a topographical map. There are many types of maps, and they are not all quite the same. Tourist maps, for example, cannot be used while hiking. They lack precision, cover only a certain area, and rarely respect the scale. Road maps are sometimes tempting because they are reliable, but they do not provide you with any information about the landscape. This is particularly dangerous if you hike in hilly areas because the steep areas are not indicated. When you hike, take a topographical map with you, and one that gives information about the landscape. The landscape is visually represented by shadows and contours. Secondly, choose the most accurate map. Map scale 1 to 25,000 is most often used in hiking, but 1 to 50,000 can also do the trick. Scale 1 to 25,000 means that one centimetre on the map equals 25,000 centimetres or 250 metres on the land. Seen another way, one millimetre on the map represents 25 metres on the ground. A map at 1 to 25,000 is therefore perfect for hiking because you can measure the distances precisely. When you buy a topographical map for your hike, make sure that your route is more or less at the centre of the map. If it's off-centre, buy other maps you will not regret it. For practice, buy a map near your house and try to locate the areas that you already know. In short, when you go hiking, always take a topographical map and one that is as accurate as possible.